Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of Austria! Hungry. So, we are here invading, having two wars going on at the same time. Kind of nothing worked out as planned as usual, where I was thinking that, hey, I could just invade these guys simultaneously, you know, and then just have, like, the Greeks fight the actual war, but sadly enough, when I tried calling, I didn't call them in, I didn't click the little button to call them in, and that basically made everything high. Oh, are you, are you now starting to attack me? Okay, so... You're actually starting to show like an actual force. So you guys have 71 men. Still not enough to fight me. I'm gonna be able to crush that even with even with that. And you guys can't negotiate on my vassals' terms, which is good. Okay. Yeah, you guys are just pulling out all the stops. Okay, so the logical conclusion to this is to not attack the big gigantic death stack. But to attack everything around the big gigantic death stack. And then Okay. So this is probably where most of the army is. I'm going to go send in two death stacks to go deal with that. Okay. Yeah, you want your alliance back? Good. You really should want your alliance back. Because I'm about to be done with this war. And you guys are going to come help me fight this war. Seriously, Greece. I'm not really in this war to fight it. I'm just here because, like, I made a stupid mistake and I have to own up to it. Okay. If that mistake was not made, we'd probably be still fighting this. Okay. Although I am, I am impressed that the Ottomans have an impressive amount of military. Like they, I didn't, I didn't know they had this much. Like I knew they had a lot, but I didn't know they had this much. Okay, Tunis, you about done? Like seriously, Tunis, you guys aren't gonna win. They would not accept this. Okay, well just wait. You guys are gonna be annexed sooner or later. Just depends how I want to do it. Okay, yeah, I should be able to beat, whatever the Ottomans have right here, I should be able to beat it pretty handily. Like, almost all the troops are just non-European, or just non-good, so I should be able to just smash them, smashy smash. Uh, might need just a little bit. Rest, brave soldiers, just give me more Jinduism. Jinduism is really nice. Whistle tour, I love the whistle tour. Whistle tour is so awesome. There we go, got that squished. Got the biggest, I got the biggest army squished already. Jindoism, I love Jindoism. Okay, so more Jindoism, keep moving down. Alright, and you guys, are you guys about ready to give up? Nope, you guys are going to fight me to the very end. Good job, Tennis. I'll give you guys credit for being such a person that wants to fight me to the end, but really, it's kind of hopeless in this point. Go crush that army, we should be fine there. After that, we're basically to the point of... No, they're not gonna win now. Let's just say that. <laughs> they're, they're done. I defeated the rest of the Ottomans' lands. They're all done. Yeah, all the great wartime stories and all soldiers, they're done. Alright, you guys, you're almost done with the Tunisian War, which means then I can call in the, you know, Greeks. Oh, shoot, I didn't want- No, I didn't want that! I didn't want, like, 3% pacifism! Oh, gosh, that's terrible. Never get pacifism in your country, guys. It's like the most boring thing in the world. Ay. Oh my goodness, pacifism. Never. Okay, go crush this army. Alright. Tunisia? Yes. Thank you. Alright. Greece? I'm gonna call you in. You guys should join. Thank you. There we go. Alright. This is what I wanted to see. So now the Greeks are gonna come in and basically fight this war for me. Uh, get this all under control. Well, I squish almost all the rest of their, all the rest of the Ottomans' lands, okay? Yes, of course I'll accept you guys, yes, of course I'll accept you guys. I'm gonna call you in, too. Just because I want to. Call you in. Call you in. I'm just gonna call in everyone. Okay, and then I'm gonna start fabricating cores onto you. Because you guys are... Oh, we have a truce yet. Dang it. Okay, when I can... The Jews! Oh no! I think I just expelled the Jews. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and Italy is trying to be jerks right now. Ah. Uh, okay. Italy, you are pushing your luck with me. Like, you are constantly making me want to just destroy you, and when I get a chance, I'm going to dismantle your empire so hardcore that there'll be no more... There'll be no... Rep there'll be no... Repre reprehensible thing to do with Italy. Yeah, guys, I, I'm really starting to hate it on Italy. Italy has now become... Italy and France are just, like, my most hated enemies in this game right now. If you want to know, they're, like, my most hated. Okay. 
Uh, obviously, now that we have Grease over here, and I brought in some other people. I don't know why. I just brought them in just because. Uh, this is this is fun. Just destroying these armies. It's just so much fun. Cause they can't do anything to stop me. I'm more powerful than they are. I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. Whatever you said is probably really wise and really sage. Now keep that in mind. All right. Ooh, you guys want an alliance? Sure. You guys want an alliance? Sure. All you guys want an alliance. I'm fine with that. Okay, army, artillery, conscription. Yes, now we're getting this fast. Switzerland! You guys snubbed me, which was kind of weird because this isn't even the war I really do need you guys in. So yeah, let's get revolutionary and counter-revolution. So I want to get that Dubarian Empire thing figured out here soon. Social science. That's right here. So, as soon as we get revolution and counter-revolution, which we're going to have a negative... We're going to have a negative, um feel for it because it's not in our hey guys stop trying to besiege all the stuff I siege I really don't like that it's, it's really not cool and I really don't like it at all yeah move away that's rubbish wait did they peace out Sweden oh that that'd be that'd be like completely betrayed I feel like I'd be betrayed hey don't attack my vassal don't you dare attack my vassal I have that guy there just to be sure that you guys don't do anything there we go this is not an issue. 41 troops, or 41 ships. That's actually a pretty good amount of ships there, Ottomans. Let's see, what are they mostly comprised of? Uh, 13 heavies, 17 lights. So, probably not a force I should probably be dealing with. Hey, let's go see if cannons go destroy those guys. Okay. And now, since we can move back, let's go start moving back. I mean, we don't need to be fighting in this war anymore. Because now the war is basically over. And now my men will basically take it from, well not my men, basically these little guys over here will take it from here. Well I just kind of relax and, and just watch as they take over everything. Oh gosh. And there's nothing the Netherlands can do about it. Oh yeah, the Netherlands are fighting this war, but, um, <laughs> how likely is the Netherlands going to win against my, my ally, Bavaria? Uh, pfft. Almost zero chance they're gonna win against them. So this is gonna be fun to watch them get torn apart by the mighty Bavarian Empire. Okay, and we're just squishing everything. Greece is obviously doing their job to capturing everything. Hunt down, hunt down these armies and kill them quickly. I don't really, I don't really care too much. Just make sure they all die. Yeah. Wait. 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 Yeah, no, no, you guys don't get to escape. I'm gonna make sure you guys don't escape. Yeah, yeah, you guys aren't escaping this time. There we go. No, you don't. Uh, Romania, you guys want something? Ooh, something stopped. My phone stopped for a second. That was like two minutes of loss of uh, stop recordings. So I'm sorry, guys. You might, you might get, you might be treated to a little longer episode. So, ah, lucky you guys today. So there we go. And yep. Is there any other big stacks of doomness that I have to deal with? Nah, it seems like the rest of them are just little, small, little, insignificant stacks. Uh, we do probably have to go deal with that, though. So let's go deal with that. Well, I'm still kind of in the mood to go deal with it. Let's go deal with it. Because obviously, I don't want them piecing out like that. Good job, Bavaria. Good job. Okay. Over here, though, in... Over here in this land, let's go see. Let's go see. Wait, can I call them in again? Wow, let's call them in again. Oh well, they're not gonna accept this time. But that was really cool. If I could have called them in again. Okay, let's go see. Seems like we have a couple little glitches. Like it seems like the Netherlands are actually trying to fight me, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but Greece seems to be keeping almost the Ottomans at bay, for the most part. I mean, they might need my help. So where's my fleet? Navy! There's my Imperial Navy. Alright, let's go help destroy some ships. We have 17... We have 17 ships, so we have a good amount. Alright. I mean, they haven't really developed really advanced shippers yet. Okay. And... Yeah, it seems like they're, they're done, so 
move some soldiers over here and break off like two infantry to go make this unit whole. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably gonna now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably gonna have to keep my units down here to make sure that nothing stupid or really stupid happened. Did they piece you out? Because that should not be able to happen. I was about to say, like that should not happen. Um you guys aren't going to be able to escape. I got you. Bye-bye, Ottoman soldiers. Yeah. Sad part about the Ottoman soldiers is that they all died. Uh, and then over here, we have some little bit of trouble with the uh, Netherlands trying to act like they're all big and tough. You guys aren't, but you can act like it all you want. Okay, if I really want to go send an army after you guys, I can go send an army after you guys. Okay, peace talk with you guys. Yep, thank you. Voila. And so now, Bulgaria is officially freed from the Ottomans' clutches. And now, this land is basically doomed to fall apart into disarray. Okay, let's go start sending all of our soldiers back into land. Divide up these units. Let's go see how many units do we need here to go complete this unit. Three, so let's go send three soldiers out to go greet them. One, two, three. We'll send them out, and then over here, go get these guys over there. We also need three units over there too. So one, two. All right, and you guys go over there, and voila! We also have conduct senses. Oh, I love this! I love this event! I love this event! I love this event! This is so cool! This is so cool! All right, conduct this one. Ah, I could do more stuff to them if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to. Alright, yes, Bulgaria, you guys get to be added to my friends list, because we're instantly buddies. And now we have basically, look at this. All the sphere of influence, look at that. Look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Also, for some strange reason, Brazil's not part of our sphere. Probably due to revolution. I don't think anyone actually took us out of it. Yeah, no one else took us out of it, it's just that it was most likely a war, well, not war reparations, but war something. I I'll get back to that, I was thinking about it for a second, what the words are, but... Um, basically, we won! Oh, finally! Thank goodness! They did it! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, Denmark! Oh, man, I love you, man! I love you! I thought you weren't actually going to be able to do it, but you did it! Scandinavia is actually in this game. Oh, I love when Scandinavia forms. Okay, and they're actually doing pretty decently right now, which is good. Um, in terms of our own industrial power, how are we doing? Uh, okay-ish. It's mostly the fact that we don't have enough. Okay, we can probably switch over to just, we need more men. It's mostly the fact that we don't have enough, like, soldiers to do anything to build a good industrial base, but we also don't have all of our accepted cultures. Like, realistically speaking, we only have like two accepted cultures right now. And if we could have everyone be accepted culture, that would be nice. That would be insanely nice. Let's see, is there any rebel factions? What do people want right now? Child abortion. Well, if we really get against the wall, I'll go have child abortion become non-legal. Oh, and apparently we also have some problems with our economy. Oops. Uh, I don't really care though, because I just did. I've done like six different conquests, and I feel happy. Like, we just ripped apart the Ottomans, we got more of our sphere of influence plan done, and we basically protected our interest. <laughs> if, if all things said and done, we protected our interest, and that feels s great. Just great. And we base, uh, we also do. I'm also like this. We also doom this land to basically fall apart. I, I don't know exactly when it'll fall apart, but it definitely is gonna fall apart. Croatian nationalists, you guys really do feel like I'm not gonna be able to beat you, do you? Let's see, Croatian nationalists. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna be that tough. Sorry, guys, but you guys are kind of wimps. Especially the Croatian, Austrian, Hungary. Okay, that could actually be scary. Where are they? Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's Austrian, Hungarian, communist. That's actually not that scary. Okay, I thought I thought that was gonna be way more scary. Like 150 units just like spawned out of nowhere. 
yeah, if it's, if it's just that many, then I'm not really going to have an issue. You guys go right there. You guys are right there. And we also have some more cannons right over here. Probably, probably excess for this unit right here. Which probably I should go put it right over there. Yeah. So for this unit right over here. Let's go see. You guys go hunt all these rebels down. Destroy them. Destroy that 30k stack. I don't know why the Croatians think that they need a 30k stack. It seems a bit obsessive, if I must ask. I must do say so myself. Um, it seems like we also have some provinces in here that are not turning into advanced forts of death. So let's fix that. Because it's about time for us to go fight our good friends, uh, the Italians. So let's see. We have a truce with you guys. So yeah, for two years. When do we... A truce with you guys as far as December. Okay. And in that time, what we're going to do is we're basically going to think about what we want from these guys. And most likely what we want to get from Italy is we want to completely crush them. We want to make them go bye-bye, in other words. Like, bye-bye. Like, no other way I can put that but that way. And it's going to be, gla it's going to be glorious once we get to that point. Because Italy has been picking on us for like years now. And they've really thought that they can... You know what? Actually, I'll just make that a new unit. And just build up from there. Like, seriously, we don't need to, like... Just move. Uh, let's see. You guys group together. Go hunt rebels. Let's go see. Supply limit-wise, it'd be better if you guys were in... Uh, yeah, I like that is okay. I don't mind too... A little bit of overextension. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go see, now we're back to about a 6 militaristic power. Probably due to the fact that... The Alcatraz! Do we do Alcatraz or do we do militancy? Uh, let's like decrease our militancy, actually, because I don't... Because if we're going to do the Dan Duberian Federation here soon, we're going to have to make sure... I mean, make sure we do not have high militancy. Because... Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really bad, let's just say that. Because basically what the Dandabarian Federation does is it gives each culture group a chance to say if they want to join my empire, if they don't want to join my empire. And if the signing of the Dandabarian Convention... Actually, no, I won't sign it. A lot of people are like, what? Why won't you sign it? It gets you so many good stuff. It also restricts your military to almost 90% of its full power. Which I think, especially with my kind of empire, we kind of need to make sure we have a bigger power base than they do, of most other people. A place under the sun. Our nation is, our most is the most prestigious empire on earth. Oh, I like that. We are? I didn't know that. <laughs> well, if we aren't, then I'll just become more prestigious. Yeah, go prestigiary. Okay, but no. Um, We're just going to keep crushing on everyone. I have... Basically what I'm saying, people, is I have an entire hit list and an entire, like, Dubarian situation. Like I said, all the Dubarian people will be doing is they will basically be deciding, hey, do I want to be part of this empire? If I don't want to be part of this empire, they, then they become a free state. So it's a very risky move. Like, the, doing the Dubarian Federation is not just, like, you get all sunshine and flowers. If you actually can form it, you'll be an insanely powerful nation. Because imagine this, all these accepted cultures... Yours. Just imagine that for a second. All these accepted cultures yours, and they fully accept you as their leader. Okay? That's insane. So, yeah. If it could actually happen, we could actually have a potentially great, 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 great campaign for the rest of the years. I mean, there'd be absolutely no, no difficulty. Okay? We also are going to do a Mycenaean expedition because the Greeks love us! Good job, the Greeks love us. Uh, we don't need to do... We should not allow a few... Huh? The means of production. Hmm. The means of production will change our order revenue, which I don't want to change just yet. Uh, Siege Gano is really nice, but the popular consciousness is really just gonna... It's gonna highlight most of my people to want to be, like, really, really for, like, stuff I don't want yet. 
Oh, Italy, you are being jerks right now, aren't you? You're really gonna fight me over this, aren't you? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with you. I'm gonna have to deal with you in kindness. Like, I think I'm gonna have to kill you with kindness. And by the type of kindness, I mean the kindness where you beat the guy in with the with the metal bat and uses. Okay, I'm gonna stop that train of thought, but yeah, you guys get what I mean. Kill him with kindness. Okay, let's go. Let's go see. You guys are gonna be able to deal with that revolt pretty easily. Seems like most of my faction, most of the factions, like lost party members, and the only one that went up was my conservative. Wow, the conservatives are really insanely powerful in this. That's good. We don't want anyone else more powerful than the conservatives. Conservatives is usually where I like to be. Okay, and ha. Oh, Italy, you don't know how much I'm going to crush on you. With the army of both everyone I have in my disposal, but the fact that the Italians, Bulgarians, Romanians can now all get in on you, I'm going to break you guys up into little tiny factions. And if by chance the Germans do join in, well, that just means I'm going to destroy them too. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to acquire my state back, okay? And, mm, you know, it would probably be more worth it if I probably just freed a nation from them. But then again, I'm also worried about nationalism. Alright, so let's go see here. Let's go have a, you know, since we have such a big province, let's go have a constant supply of soldiers from this province. That way we can keep building, even if it's done. And we have a high amount of people, tax, taxes. So let's go to like 43. We have 43, so 43. So, yeah, that's good. That's good for everyone. Keeps everyone balanced. The means of production. I, I seriously, I'm seriously thinking maybe we should do this. Uh, but, I, dreams have been removed from Hungary. Uh, let's see, what does dreams of an empire give us right now? Or 0, 0.0. Okay, this is, this is way better. The means of production actually is is actually better so let's just do that because it actually does give us a lot more stuff academic confusion right now oh yeah I remember I pressed that a long time ago oh yeah that, that was a bad decision on my part but yeah we're going to at the very least I want to take back my Ven Venice that is my land and I don't care if you guys have cores on me you ain't taking Venice okay you little stuck up little Italian mozzarella Wow, I can I, I cannot come up with good with good slang terms. I, I just can't. It feels like it just does not feel natural for me. But you guys know what I mean. I'm not gonna let them do that. Um, my army should be more powerful than theirs, so I'm just gonna move my forces up to the border. Have my forces over here up to the border. Um, what we just have to make sure is that we get this Casas Belli before before the Germans are allowed to Germ to, to join in. I was about to say to German. The, we we should get this war before allowed to before we allow the Germans to German. They do the German thing. What do the Germans do? They do that German thing. Everyone, I I don't know. So let's see. You guys, um, basically let's go find their fleet and make sure we're right next to their fleet when we declare war, so that we are. Uh, it, it'll be fun. Let's just say that it'll be fun. Holy moly! How they get that many? Dang. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe they actually do have a decent army, decent military where I actually have to fear them. Which is scary for me because I usually don't have to fear anyone in this game. So, wait, wait. Sorry, whoops, forgot. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm going to have to really protect these guys. Holy shoot, I have a lot of money right now. Okay, decrease, decrease, decrease. 39, we can get, we can get down to 39. Yes! 39 on everyone. We can go down to 35 for the rich. 36 there we go and we're still supplying our empire with good amounts of gains this should be making all of our people really happy because we're not taxing them that much they should have enough to spend on their own investments and their own and their own uh, stuff which is really nice um, Italy though not exactly the same situation um, send these guys on the boats we're going to have three armies basically attacking Italy. And 
I'm not gonna give them. Oh, they're at war with France too. Ooh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Let's see, France. Uh, what did I say about Italy again? <laughs> I, I, I just want to just, just rewind the videos, guys, and remind me what did I tell them about Italy? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm not even gonna deny. It. I feel so happy of that. And the Germans right now aren't that strong. So. Yeah, this is going to be a fun... Just going to let them duke it out for a little bit. And then, once they duke it out, we go in and go conquer them. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, time, it's time for me to exact my revenge on you, son, you sons of people. Because you guys were pretty mean to... You guys were pretty much war-conquering jerks for like the first couple years I knew you. So it's time to repay the favor. It's time to attack you when you guys are insanely weak. Okay. Um... Yeah, France should be coming back. I was about to say, that's not the end of this yet. Okay, so let's see. And maybe Germany won't be able to join in because of, yeah, Viente. Viente is mine. But because they have a truce with me. But if they do, I don't really mind because right now they're fighting France. And they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to handle everyone. They're not going to be able to handle me and France. They're going to have to lose one of the two. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, just as I thought, they joined in. It doesn't matter, though, because the Germans, at the most, are going to be now crushed underneath two weighted armies. They can't fight both. They cannot fight both. And I actually have... Greece is actually in it this time. Wait. Wait. They're deciding. I sent you guys... You guys should be in this war, I'm just saying. Uh, touching, no, don't. Okay. Yeah, you see, just on their own, the French could probably deal with the Germans. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare start going into my land. My land is not for you guys. My land is, is a good land that should not be used against me. Okay. See, 47 versus 10, 77 versus 6, and now, now, now France is just going to crush in on them. While that's happening, we're going to go crush in on our good friends, uh, Treviso and Padla and all of these guys, taking back what we deserve from the first war. Oh, good, nice things. We get relationships with Mexico. I don't really care. Let's get this. And let's go destroy these guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I'm taking way too much evil satisfaction from this. Because now, now this is the best. This is, ah, no. This was like the best part. I was crushing the Germans. There was absolutely no way they can fight me right now. Oh, well, anyways, guys, wait until the next episode. <laughs> well, I'm going to go, just going to have to go destroy the Italians. Oh, yes. I'll see you guys next time.